What up, y'all? It's me, T-Biz, and I finally got this freaking thing put together. I bought one of these uh, Star Wars Metal Earth uh, 3D model kits. I bought it a while back, and I finally got the balls today to go ahead and put it together. And um, and yeah, it was a pain in the butt. Um, it's uh, it's I don't, I don't want to say it's fun, but I don't want to say it's. I mean, I'm stoked with with the um, with what I've got out of it, you know, after building it. But um, it's a pain in the butt, and uh, don't build this around a loved one or a good friend, or any you know, or or a clergyman or anybody like that. Because uh, this this made me almost like really violent today. Just like I'm uh, just getting angry putting this thing together. But um, but at the same time, I kind of I want to recommend it for people that like building models and people that like challenges. Because um, I'm not a very patient person, but at the same time, because I whined about the Walking Dead figures and how annoying those were, and uh, you know, but um, but a lot of buddies out there and stuff like um, like uh, a lot of Star Wars friends and Hero Statue Collector Lou, I'm sure you'd like this, and um, but uh, this thing is like a pain in the butt to put together. It's uh, here's some uh, info on the back. You use the needle nose pliers to put it together and stuff. And, uh, and yeah, it does contain sharp edges, but let me see if I can zoom in a little bit better. But yeah, there's the two sheets of metal that you get. Yeah, you put together. And here's the final product, which you got yourself a nifty Darth Vader TIE Fighter. I screwed up on the little uh, uh, laser guns that go around here in this area. And uh, those break really easy if you have banana hands. And um, this is, yeah, this is the final product up close. And it's pretty cool. It's challenging. Um, it's not at all totally perfect the way I put it together. Um, I have big banana hands, grill hands, so yeah, it's not at all easy. But the detail on this is pretty pretty awesome, though. Pretty awesome. You don't get a little Vader or anything, and there's no seat in there to put him in. But yeah, still pretty cool. And they make, I think, a uh, X-Wing and a Millennium Falcon and an ad ad And they also have some Star Trek vehicles, too, that are pretty cool. If you're into Star Trek. And um, and here's the leftover uh, pieces after making it. And you want to dispose of these or recycle them because it's kind of dangerous. You can get these stuck. These little points can't stick you. So it is kind of dangerous. Don't leave them around little kids or anything like that. Or animals and um and there's one of the laser guns I didn't put I didn't put them both on because I broke one so I was like I'm just not gonna go ahead and screw with that so yeah it's not at all perfect but then again I'm not the most perfect model builder in the world so you know all about that but um let me uh zoom back in and out Oop. here we go and let me show you the directions real quick A little spoiler Here's a look at the directions and how to put it together. Here's the steps. And yeah. And it's challenging if you have somebody hanging out with you in the same room or talking to you while you're trying to put this together and you don't freak out and yell at them. Yeah, it's um you've accomplished something there. But uh yeah, this thing is pretty cool. I'm just like totally like exhausted from after putting it together just mentally, not physically, but mentally. But, uh, yeah. But then again, some of you out there might be able to just go ahead and whiz bang through this and have no freaking problems. But if you have like tiny Tinkerbell hands, yeah, you could probably just whiz bang through this. Like I said, but, uh, but I don't. So and like I said, I'm not the most patient person in the world, but yeah, I got it together. Got it together. It's pretty neat, and it's kind of cool as you're building it too, as you're getting it together. It's, you know, it, it I, you know, and to be honest with you, I mean, as you're going, it's, it's cool because you're kind of accomplishing building it and stuff piece by piece, and it's kind of a good feeling. But at the same time, um, there's a point when I first started trying to put it together, I was like, this isn't going to happen. I'm just going to end up breaking this whole thing. But you know what? If if I can do it, a monkey can do it. So, and that means you can do it too. So. Or put it together. But anyways, it's a look at the Darth Vader TIE Fighter from uh, Star Wars Metal Earth. 
which is also uh, Fascinations. There's the StarWars.com and website and all the hoo-ha and this and that and what what. But uh, yeah, let's look at that Darth Vader TIE Fighter model. Pretty cool. One of my favorite TIE Fighters. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, y'all have a good one. Alright, may the force be with you. Later.